connected to the satanic kingdom and it won't, and it won't allow you to do it. Huh. Boom. Because the gift is not, what you're using is not from God's kingdom and God's kingdom do good. So why can't you do good? Because you're not connected to the kingdom of God. For whatever reason, you can't seem to bring yourself to doing good. For whatever reason, you can't seem to bring yourself to doing the stuff I'm talking about. You're not doing it. You haven't done it. And I don't think you've got any intentions of doing it. You know, you're not getting top secret information. You're not going doing, you're not seeing what the FBI is doing. You're not seeing what none of these leaders are doing. You're not doing any of that. Donald Trump. On and on and on and on. And then, if it was, if that's not bad enough, you 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 couldn't even see the obvious negative information in our community of forty four states married children. This is why you have no credibility with me. All right, look, it's one thing to read brains. It's one thing to see that you can't do it with, with where it needs to be done, which brings you down totally. Okay, you're reading brains, but you're not doing it where it really should be. You're not doing it in the White House. You're not doing it in the government. You're not doing it with really bad people. So see, you can't be serious thinking you're as high ranking as me because I've revealed something without being a brain reader because I don't have a mutated gift. I did something without being a brain reader that you could never do. Well, it's too late. I revealed 44 states as married children without reading anybody's brain. Which means my the, the, the spiritual rank that I am attracted the right information. <laughs> Even according to my own personal battles. And I revealed something to your whole culture that none of you knew. It's just an educated assumption and observation. So see, how I read um, or hear the thoughts or the words of people is because the Holy Spirit allows my mind to hear it for my own protection. Only high ranking Christians can tell you that. I hear it for my own protection so I know what's going on. So in our kingdom, we can hear as you can hear, but we hear for our protection. That's the difference. So I can hear too. I'm not impressed. What I'm impressed is when you reveal information like I reveal. Stuff that's right there and your whole culture don't even know. Your whole culture don't even know. I know you want to trivialize it. You want to trivialize it, but you, it's impossible to do that on such a such a serious topic. <laughs> Forty four states married children, and none of you psychics and telepaths know anything about it. That's very disappointing. <laughs> it, it looks like literally, well, you would think these psychics and telepaths are connected to everybody. And everything, right? But it looks like they've also been living in their own little bubble. Well, you didn't know the obvious. 
Let's start with the obvious before you try to find anything deeper and go out to deeper waters. Won't you, won't you reveal to us the obvious things? Start there first before you try to impress us with your little running around telepath psychic gifts. Won't you, won't you reveal to us the obvious things first? Won't you start there? <laughs> see, that's a joke. That's pathetic to me. Now you see what level I'm on. And you are too far behind to catch up with me, buddy. Well, let's, let's observe the facts. Let's review the facts. Me being a spiritual person, I'm off limits to your community. I'm, 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 I'm a king of the jungle. I'm a lion. Any, in, in every jungle, there are lions. I am a lion in the jungle. Anybody touches me, they get devoured. So, you have people that played around me, all of this. You got COVID-19. You got monkeypox now since, since I've been at this apartment. You got different variants since I've been at this apartment. You know, you got Joe Biden messing up 20 years of progress in Afghanistan. The list goes on. Gas prices, inflation, prices in grocery stores are skyrocketing. This is all repercussions for playing with my life. I'm a real Christian, a servant humbled before God. And it's too late. They, they thought they were attacking just some everyday religious person. I think that's what they thought. But how about now? When I've revealed to you your community, what they're really doing in America, the real America, I'm surprised that psychics and telepaths couldn't reveal the real America. Well, if I was a psychic with a mutated gift, I would uh, be trying to See what's going on in this country. I mean, but this is like I said, it comes back to what I said. No, any kingdom divided against itself will fall. So if they're part of the satanic kingdom, they're not going to work for good. That's just, that's, that's my personal opinion. That's why I don't believe in, um, that's why I don't believe in white witches or white psychics or white telepaths or any of that. You know, I don't believe in that. I believe people have gifts and they have their own heart in humanity and they can fluctuate. But if your gift is mutated and you're using it, then you're, you're operating in the satanic kingdom. That's what it is. See, what you have to understand is God's people can really tell you what's going on in the spiritual world. We know the spiritual world better than you do. See, in America, you you are used to people, religious people, not being spiritual, not knowing anything about real spirituality. And then you find somebody like me. I'm able to take you through the spiritual jungles. Am I... Am I, I, will, I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm the greatest at it. I don't know. But I can take you through the spiritual jungles, you know. And one thing I can tell you for sure is that we're able to see you and understand you more than you. Because uh, you're in our world. You're, you're in our world. Whether you're doing psychic stuff and witchcraft, you're in, you're operating from the non-tangible, which is where God resides in the non-tangible. So we outrank you there. Okay? We outrank you there. I don't care what kind of little uh, synchronicity you use and all of that. That don't mean nothing to me. We outrank you in the spiritual world, which means we can describe you better than you. We, we know you better than you know yourself. That's why I'm able to describe to you what you got. 
You have a mutated gift. God would not, God would not give you that much power over humanity because you're not high ranking enough to deserve it. You're a human. No human, let's put it like this. No human has ranks high enough in purity to be able to read the thoughts, the most intimate place of the human to read their thoughts. No, you don't rank high enough in purity and as a creature. That's how I know. That's how I know. So that means to me that your gift went through, you had gifts from God, which I believe were prophetic and, pro, and prophetic gifts. And Satan began, just like he did with the angels in heaven, he began to recruit you away from God's kingdom. Because only God creates. So if someone has some type of gift, per se, that came from God. Satan does not create. These are the rules, whether you, whoever side you're on. If you're on the side of darkness, you're on the side of light, you, you can't make up some goofy rules because you're biased to the dark side. I don't care how biased you are to the dark side. You can't make up your own world, buddy. There, there, some things are real and some things are lies and fake and the bottom line is whether you're on the satanic side or God's side is we all have to agree Satan is not a creator he's not which means anything that's a gift per se an ability is from God. He is the creator. And so Satan comes in and he mutates it. Which explains psychics and telepaths. See, this is important, guys. Because that's the subtle evil people that you, you will say, well, they're not evil. They're just trying to read read the future or read your future or tell you what's going. It's still, it's, it's deceptive. It's still a part of the satanic kingdom. All right? So you have those, they are part of the satanic kingdom. You got witches and warlocks. They, I'm just skimming through this real quick. They, they curse, they hex. They do spells, all type of spells against humanity. They put witchcraft on people. They are the evil people of the world. Okay? There's no doubt about that. Okay? And so you have four forces. Like I told you, four solid forces. You have good people, bad people. I mean, when you have good people and, and spiritual people. Christians. You have bad people and witches and warlocks. Evil people. Telepaths and psychics. And so those are four forces in the world. So here's the mega punchline. America's weapon of choice is psychological technologies, mind technologies. This is, I believe, even portions of the American government is using it. But definitely the culture, you know, white people, black people, they're using mind technologies, spiritual and even possibly tangible. They're using it um, as their weapon of choice. Because where we're at, basically, we're on, some would say World War III has already started by what they're doing. 
this has started World War Three. World War Three started out with psychological warfare, which provoked greater wars and greater wars and greater wars. So what these secret societies have done, being arrogant white Americans, entitled white Americans, they basically started World War III. Yep. These are like, because in, so World War III started with psychological warfare, psychological technologies, mind technologies, mind uh, technology, technologies that are either spiritual or tangible. And they use war games and, 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 you know, and it started with, you know, racist white Americans that just couldn't win. You know, they just could not win. And they refused to accept that they couldn't win. And so they just kept going up the ladder, adding more and more people to their little war. And this started or initiated the beginning of World War III. You know, so basically there's World War III, World War III is starting out as a secretive psychological war that many people don't know about. Unfortunately for them, though, someone like me, if you want to talk in Star Wars language, has started a great disturbance in the force. I've started a great disturbance, me as an individual, you know, um, you know, with much spiritual war and attacks on these individuals that use psychological wars. What us, what, what's, what us as Christians must now do is begin to use our spiritual weapons. We must begin to fight um, the telepaths, the psychics, the witches, and the warlocks because that's what they're using. This is what America is using. Whether it be government, whether it be black community, white community, this is what they're choosing as a, com a community, as a nation, this is what they're choosing to use. So you see how it all adds up. You have four forces, and that's like four different agendas. It really is. You got good people, they have their agenda. You got spiritual people, they have their agenda. You got bad people, they have their agenda. And you got evil people, they have their agenda. We're It's not good against just cut and dry, good against evil. God has revealed to me these four forces. You got good, spiritual, bad, and evil. They all, They don't all operate together. Good and spiritual people do not operate together. Bad it, thugs and gangsters, big thugs and gangsters, they don't always deal with witches and warlocks. You know, so you have four different forces in the world. And some of y'all, you really don't know which one you are. You should, though, because your actions should tell you. It should make it clear. You may just be a bad person. You may just be a good person. Not realizing the spiritual forces that's fighting each other. See, <clears throat> the moronic, the moron-like um, perspective of this other side is they don't realize this is a fixed fight. We already won. When Jesus Christ came, <coughs> we won. Period. You know, and he's coming back a second time. <laughs> and we win again. So all everybody is doing is waiting for the inevitable return of Jesus Christ, which shuts all of this witchcraft down. All these witches and warlocks go to hell. 
telepaths go to hell, psychics go to hell, and it's over. End of story. That's how it ends. And there's not going to be any manipulation of that. That's going to happen. Okay? So, Christians, just be aware. You needed, you needed this broke down to you. So you can also see, okay, America, America's weapon of choice is telepaths, psychics, witches, and warlocks. That's what they're using. Okay, whether it be government, whether it be community, whether it be black community, white community, they're all using it. It ain't just, you can't just blame white people. Black people are using it too. I got to tell you that. Unfortunately, they have succumbed to using witchcraft on a high level. A lot of uh, black people, you know, a lot of y'all are um, ignorant of how much black people actually use witchcraft. You never paid attention. You never paid attention to the witch doctors in your in your neighborhood, in the ghettos. They're there. They're right there in the ghetto. You just never took it seriously. So you've always been, as black people, you've always been around witchcraft. You've heard stories and you just kind of ignored it. But now, in these times, in these last hours, black people doing witchcraft is nothing. You can't you can't paint black people, all black people like angels, black angels. I'm I'm sorry to tell you. You got a lot of black people that use voodoo and what people call hoodoo, which is low country voodoo. You got you got you you know you if you if you paint you know Hispanics and Latinos as uh, angels, they, you got you got they use santeria. The people with the beads, all them beads and stuff, that's voodoo, man. That's that's witchcraft to us. See, I'm not I'm not ignorant of any of that. That's what you gotta understand. You're not dealing with a novice. Okay, so Christians, do I need to say anything more for you to realize you have to turn from America? You're going through all those thoughts and all of that, all of that stuff because of the weapons of choice that America chooses to use. They are choosing to use specifically on Christians psychological weapons. Okay, you they targeting people, ministers on YouTube, if they're targeting ministers on TV, they're targeting people here. If you're here, they're targeting you're a Christian and you're significant and you're doing something in some way or you may be connected to someone significant. They're targeting. I'm, I'm pretty sure they might be targeting you. And this is the main thing you got to remember. Whatever. Is not reality. Don't worry about it. That's how you win over all of that psychological stuff. Hey, long as you ain't out here doing nothing with no kids or you ain't doing doing nothing crazy, then then let that roll off your back. Because that's what they want you to do is dwell on it. Let that roll off your back. It's not reality. I just took you to a new level right there. It's not reality. And every time it comes, that's all you got to say. It's not reality. 